The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, and bless your heritage, and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who consecrated the abundant first fruits of the Roman Church by the blood of the martyrs, grant, we pray, that with firm courage we may together draw strength from so great a struggle and ever rejoice at the triumph of faithful love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Lamentations. The Lord has consumed without pity all the dwellings of Jacob. He has torn down in his anger the fortresses of daughter Judah. He has brought to the ground in dishonor her kings and her princes. On the ground in silence sit the old men of daughter Zion. They strew dust on their heads and grid themselves with sackcloth. The maidens of Jerusalem bow their heads to the ground. Worn out from weeping are my ears. Within me all is infirmant. My gall is poured out on the ground because of the downfall of the daughter of my people. As child and infant faint away in the open space of the town, in vain they ask their mothers, where is the grain? As they faint away with the wounded in the streets of the city and breathe their last in their mother's arm. To what can I liken or compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What example can I show you for your comfort, virgin daughter of Zion? For great as the sea is your downfall, who can heal you? Your prophets had for you false and specious visions. They did not lay bare your guilt to avert your fate. They beheld for you in vision false and misleading portents. Cry out to the Lord, mourn, O daughter Zion. Let your tears flow like a torrent day and night. Let there be no respect from you, no repose from your eyes. Rise up shrill in the night at the beginning of each watch. Pour out your heart like water in the presence of the Lord. Lift up your hands to him for the lives of your little ones who faint from hunger at the corner of every street. The word of the Lord. Lord, forget not the souls of your poor ones. Lord, forget not the souls of your poor ones. Why, O God, have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pastor? Remember your flock which you built up of old, the tribe you redeemed as your inheritance, Mount Zion, where you took up your abode. Lord, forget not the souls of your Turn your steps towards the utter ruins, toward all the damage the enemy has done in the sanctuary. Your foes roar trumpetly in, the, in your shrine. They have set up your tokens of victory. They are like men coming up with axes to a clump of trees. 
for the Lord to get out of the souls of your poor ones. With chisels and hammer, they hacked at all the paling of the sanctuary. They set your sanctuary on fire, the place where your name abides. They have raised and profaned. Lord, forget not the souls of your poor ones. Look to your covenant. For the hidden place in the land and the plains are full of violence. May the humble not retire in confusion. May the afflicted and the poor praise your name. Lord, forget not the souls of your poor ones. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said and replied, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof, but only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom will be driven out into the outer darkness, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, You may go. As you have believed, let it be done for you. And at that very hour his servant was healed. Jesus entered the house of Peter and saw his mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her and she rose and waited on him when it was evening they brought him many who were possessed by demons he drove out the spirits by a word and cured them all to fulfill what had been said by isaiah the prophet he took away our infirmities and bore our diseases the gospel of the lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church celebrates the memory of the first martyrs of Rome. I think that this is a very appropriate celebration today. For yesterday, we had the solemnity of the apostles Peter and Paul who both shed their blood for the faith in Rome. All these martyrs, Peter and Paul yesterday, the Roman martyrs today, died due to the persecution of Nero. Remember the fire in Rome around 64 AD which destroyed a portion of the city Nero blamed on the Christians. And I was thinking about it in light of a, a movie that came out about a year ago uh, on St. Paul. And it portrays him at the end in prison in Rome and the early Christian community during the persecution of Nero. Now, 
there's a lot that you could probably disagree with on the movie. But the one aspect that I thought was, you know, I never considered what the mindset was of the early Christian community. I never considered the mindset of subsequent Christian communities who have undergone harsh treatment persecution, and martyrdom. I have been spoiled. I'm blessed being here where we have not experienced that. It's foreign to our, our, our mindset to know what it's like to live in a fear, hoping that you're not going to be uh, told about, uh, someone's not going to tell on you. They're not going to rat you out, as the old saying would be. You're not going to suffer a very horrible death. To live in that fear, but at the same time, as we've seen, not only from these first Christians, but from subsequent generations, to have that fear in the back of your mind, but to still have the courage of your convictions to live your Catholic faith to the best of your ability. They have continued the journey despite the fear. They have given us a tremendous example of how to be the man or woman we're called to be. The child of God we know we want to be. The Catholic we can be. Today, this vast group of men, women, and children who have suffered or who did suffer such horrendous means of torture and death, now in heaven, in peace, they pray for us as we continue our journey, enduring, and I hope to God we never endure the red martyrdom that they did. We endure a form of white martyrdom, a bloodless martyrdom every day, trying to purge ourselves of uh, the things that are un godly, trying to be the best person we can be each day, dying every day so that the life of Christ may increase with us. They're there supporting us, praying for us, encouraging us, asking our Lord to send us more graces. Let us pray today that we may, in our daily dying towards self end up being the children of God that we're supposed to be. Let us also remember those, our brothers and sisters throughout the world, who are still enduring to this very day persecution, martyrdom for their faith in Jesus. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. Prayer. We pray for all those in public office throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for our brothers and sisters who endure persecution even this day for their faith. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for the sick. We pray for the suffering. We pray for those in hospitals, nursing homes, 
the homebound and the homeless, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And lastly, let us pray for the Carly Russell family for whom this Mass is being offered this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the most blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the, the Father, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall, shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed is God's favor. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of the holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it right, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised, and their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, save us, Savior save of the world. Provide your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking up the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <clears throat> thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <coughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room. The only saved word in my soul shall be healed.
I am the good shepherd, and I lay down my life for my sheep, says the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to Mass as ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael for the protection of our families. Holy Amen. Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be Amen. our protection Amen. against Amen. the wickedness Amen. and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, o Prince, Prince of the, the Heavenly Host, Host by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine grace is protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his holy sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious love. Blessed be Jesus, the most